Hi, my name is Shone, and I'm a nine-year-old. Today we'll be building a Raspberry Pi 3. This year, 2018, Santa got me a wonderful present. That was a Raspberry Pi 3 Ultimate Starter Kit. I urge all kids and adults to make this wonderful Raspberry Pi 3 because it is a very fun and satisfying experience to make your own computer. This is how it looks like when you take everything out of the Raspberry Pi 3 Ultimate Starter Kit. There's a premium case. There's a 16 GB memory card pre-installed with noobs for Raspberry Pi. There's heat sinks to keep the motherboard from burning. There's a six feet HDMI to HDMI cable. There's a switching AC power supply. There's a, there's a Model B for a motherboard. And there's four wires, red, green, yellow, and black. There are three wires here, but I use the red one for testing. And most importantly, there are screws. And there's a also touch screen display, which is right over here. And most importantly, there's, there are screws and they're really, really tiny and they're really easy to lose. And it doesn't come with a keyboard, but you have to, you, you have, to, my mother bought this from Staples. And when I finished it, I used Bluetooth to connect, to connect the, to connect this keyboard to the, to the screen. The first thing I was looking for was an instruction, but I didn't really find any in here. All I found was some safety instructions and a quick start guide. I had to look online from several forums and several videos to complete this one. When I first opened the case, I saw something like this. This is a touch screen, seven inch display. When I flipped it over, I saw a motherboard. What I did from then is that I attached the ribbon cables. I did them from the silver side. You can see that at the ends, at the ends of the of the ribbon cable, you can see a silver thing. I pushed them all the way inside so that you could so that it could be really stable. And then I and then next you have to do that on the same side on on an, on model B here, Raspberry Pi three model B. And attach it to the same thing on the adapt on the adapter display. This new Raspberry Pi 3 has a super powerful quad core 64-bit processor that has a speed of 1.2 gigahertz and 1 GB RAM. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi chip. It also has a built-in Bluetooth 4.1 for connecting additional devices, and I'm gonna show you how I connected the Bluetooth option. In addition to that, it has a full HDMI port, four USB ports, and a 3D graphics core used for gaming. We take out this micro SD card. And we take up the cover. And since we didn't screw it yet, we can flip it over and we have to make sure that this gold inside is down on the bottom and push it all the way in. Now we have to screw it. We take the really long screws and we have to screw Screw them in one by one into the four holes and make, and they have to be aligned perfectly, perfectly with the other motherboard.
The Raspberry Pi 3 comes with the heat sink kit. Now I've already taken out the heat sinks and there there are a, sm a smaller a smaller heat sink and a bigger heat sink. Before I put the heat sinks on, I could see a small black surface. The small black surface on on the one I'm pointing to with the screwdriver is the Wi-Fi chip. The bigger one is the microprocessor chip. Now, now with the with the heat sinks, peel off the cover and stick it on to to the matching square. The bigger one goes on the bigger square, and the smaller one goes on the smaller square. There are four wires: red, green, yellow, and black. Red and black are the most important wires because red stands for power and black stands for ground. Now, this is very important how you put it. There are five pins on the bottom. Red goes on the first pin and black goes on the last. Now, they were labeled on the bottom motherboard and and they used to be behind here but since we put the top motherboard we can't really see it next to the red we have an empty space and then we have the third wire the third pin and that goes to to green and we have to see there's a hole. There's a hole inside of the, the wire. And you need to put that directly inside of the of the mother of the pin. And then right next to red to black and green, we put yellow. Okay, so we're done with the bottom. Now on the top, we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pins. Red goes on the, the second pin, which is this pin right here. Then yellow goes on the pin right here then green goes on the the pin right next to yellow and black goes on the bottom of yellow And so red is on the second pin because the pin back here is number one. This is number, red is number two. Green is number three. The middle pin, which is not being used, is number four. Yellow is number five. And black is number six. Now we have to put the, the back case. There, there are three three square empty squares and those are meant for the the USB and the ethernet so we first have to take up the top and we have to make the wires go through here so we have to we have to make sure that all the wires go to the top and not to the side and yes we have to also check the screws to make sure they're aligned. And then we can push down the wires and we can attach the top. Now we have to put these four screws.
After you finish putting in all the four screws, turn it around and it looks something like this. I kept the protective cover on because it, it get really dirty after a while. It, also, it comes with the micro USB AC power supply. And here I'm going to plug it in into the bottom one. And while we're waiting for it to boot, uh, I'm gonna tell you that I had a really fun time building this computer. And, and, um, I, and you should really uh, encourage other people to do it. And, and yeah, I think we're here. And you, you have just built, built your own Raspberry Pi 3. And so since there's a Wi-Fi chip, you can go into your home Wi-Fi and you can, you can, you can actually have any Wi-Fi that your home has. And I, and my mom, my, it didn't come with it, but my mom got me a, a keyboard and I found that it didn't have a USB. But the really cool thing was, is that I could connect it to Bluetooth and I'm gonna turn it on here. I'm gonna do one, two, three. And we have connected into a keyboard. I'm just gonna go into, let's say, programming. And we have all of the programming stuff here. Wolfram, Scratch, Python, we have Java. And there's, there's also, you can go to web browser and you can do the same stuff you do on any other computer. You can go to Chrome and I play chess. So I, I go to this website on my laptop, chess.com. And I can do the same things here. And I can, I can go down and I can do, do the same stuff here. Play computer, solve puzzles, play online, learn how to play, play on mobile. I can look at articles and all that stuff. And make sure when you're turning, when you're, you also have some games and there is Minecraft Pi, which I know I think you'll like. And when you're trying to switch off your, your mini computer, you don't plug it off. First, you have to go to the little raspberry. Then you have to click on shutdown, shutdown, and now plug it off. And thank you for watching my tutorial.